Hey guys, how's it going? Whammy here. Welcome back to Forza 7. Look at this car right here. This is an E-Series, Formula E racer. So this is an all-electric Indy car, essentially. They're... Oh my god, it's silent. They're si they sound like little remote control cars. Listen. <laughs> there is no, like, revving. There's no, there's no anything. They're quiet. They're so quiet. Oh my god. They're, they're nothing. Holy crap. They're nimble, I suppose. Uh, they feel kind of slow, but I mean, it's something. This is... I, I cannot wait till the world goes to electric cars, honestly. Uh, uh, mostly because they can just... the just, You can do so much more with an electric car than you can with a gas engine. It's so simple, too. Like, I used to race RC back in the day. Uh, oh, hey, get off me, buddy. Get off me. I used to race RC cars back in the day, gas-powered, like, eight-scale trucks. And, uh, yeah, the gas-powered ones, while quick, I mean, they were nowhere near as quick as the electric variants, which were stupidly powerful. Uh, just for some comparison here. Actually, I've got one hanging on my wall right over there. It, uh, it came with a motor in it. A little tiny, little tiny, I think it was a 3cc or 3.3cc motor. And it, uh, I can't remember what the registered, uh, output of that was, but it was fast, don't be wrong, and it had a clutch, and it had a transmission on it. A two-speed transmission, no less. And it was... It was fun. It was a cool car to drive, but it was finicky. It was hard to get started, you know, and you had to keep it running. And granted, you could drive all day if you didn't break something, which you almost certainly did. So that's that's another trade-off between. Ah, oh, what are you doing on my ass? Ah, we're fine. We're fine. That was the trade-off. That guy's still back there. Crash. That was the trade-off between uh, racing gas and electric, I suppose. Well, maybe not. The electric's even kind of broke, but I'm getting ahead of myself. They, uh, the the gas-powered ones were fun and they were powerful, but they were so limited. I mean, they felt like you had to. Uh, I don't know, you had to mess with the tune with on the carb, you always had to get it so it ran at the right temperature. And I switched that same exact truck over to an electric system, a brushless electric system with like a... Fuck, I think it's a five cell like airplane lipo battery? Big ass battery, big ass uh, lithium polymer battery, like... Not like the one that's in your phone that people are complaining lights on fire, no, I'm talking about it's volatile cousin, the first generation lithium polymer batteries. They held a butt ton of power, but they were in soft packs? <laughs> You've never seen a battery fire until you see one of those things go up. I mean, you crash one of them trucks and it punctures the pack? Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty fiery. Not explosive, like some people think. Those those batteries aren't explosive, they're fiery. They spit out a bunch of flames, and when mistreated, they do burn up. But, uh, getting off topic again, something I tend to do. Anyway, anyway, when I switched over to electric, the, the, goddamn, same spot, too. Is it the same guy? Get off me. Jesus. When I switched over to electric, I noticed a significant difference in power. That thing could take the wheels, when you held it in the air, if you punched it, it could take the wheels from not moving to going full speed in like an instant. And I'm serious when I say an instant. The thing went f so fast, like on acceleration, that you could sit it still on the ground. Keep in mind, this truck weighed like 10 pounds, 10, 11, 12 pounds. And you could keep it on the ground and punch the throttle. It would do a standing backflip. It would be so quick that it would punch it and flip the car over. Complete backflip. That's how quick it is. There's no way in hell a gas engine could do that. Not even close. Now, I had to uh, do a number of significant mod modifications to the uh, drivetrain. Namely, an all-metal different or all metal, uh, gearbox, one speed, had to take out the two-speed element. Lots of modifications to it. But the electric variant was so much more reliable, you just charged the battery and the, the thing went. I mean, there was no fucking and pissing with, with carburetors, tunes, and, and oil, and, you know, you had to worry about getting the air filtration right. No, none of that. No, that thing just went, and it was faster, much faster than the other car was. Am I going to win this race? I might not win this. There's four cars in front of me. That's that's not great, actually. I need to kick it up a notch here. It was it was a lot faster than the uh, the gas variants, and it would it wasn't even competitive. Like you couldn't race the two in the same uh, the same event because the electrics just had such a massive advantage with their, I, I mean, endless torque. I think I can't remember what the gas engine was rated for, but I know that the electric engine was rated for like seven horsepower. Seven, seven horsepower. It revved up huge too. Like it. Was Fun, man, it was. I can't remember the rhythms, but it was it was quick. So yeah, the whole going electric thing, I think, is something. It's the way of the future. You're gonna see it a lot in cars. And the thing is, it kind of the whole gas engine thing kind of limits what kind of power you can put in a car. Recently, you know, in the last you know, ten years or so, you've seen a lot more improvement in how much power they can get out of gas engines. But electric engines, I mean, there is you can get so much power out of an electric engine. It's stupid. I mean, especially when they're putting four of them in these cars, like, they're all-wheel drive, and... Oh my god, they're just- you're gonna see some insane cars come out of the electric building. 
Now, they have... Oh, crap, I'm not going to win this. I'm going to be in third, fourth. Fourth? No, that's no fun. The electric cars, there's just so much power available. The problem is the battery technology. I mean, once battery technology advances another step or another couple steps, you're going to see some crazy electric cars. Anyway, that's just a little aside, guys. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.